My name is Dr. Shayla Shorter. As a scientist and as a person living with lupus, I'm passionate about all things related to how the immune system works. The current COVID-19 pandemic has brought a lot of questions to the forefront. What causes COVID-19? Why are some people getting severely ill, but others aren't? And why is lupus getting dragged into this? In this four-part series, we will take a look into how scientists answer these types of questions. So pull up a seat and enjoy the class. In our last episode, we learned about how the immune system works. Today in episode two, we're gonna talk about when the immune system overreacts. Or to put it another way, is it possible that too much of a good thing is a bad thing? I'll present to you two examples of the immune system being more harmful than helpful. In the first example, we'll talk about a disease called lupus, which has been well known for a while. In our second example, we'll talk about COVID-19. By now, you've probably heard lots about COVID-19. Now you might be wondering, What's the relationship between lupus and COVID-19? Stick around and I'll tell you more. As always, I wanna start with our learning objectives. These are questions that I'd like for you to keep in mind and see if you can answer them by the end of the class. Now, let's start with lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases are illnesses in which the immune system mistakenly views and attacks the body's organs as if they were pathogens. Now there are many different types of autoimmune diseases, but they can be categorized into maybe two main buckets. Some autoimmune diseases are organ-specific autoimmune diseases. An example of an organ-specific autoimmune disease is type 1 diabetes. In this disease, the immune system attacks the insulin producing cells of the pancreas. Another example is psoriasis that affects the skin, which is your body's largest organ if you didn't know. Now, lupus, on the other hand, is a systemic autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks multiple different organs. Lupus patients can have a variety of symptoms ranging from a facial rash, which we normally call a butterfly rash because it's in the shape of a butterfly, to arthritis due to the immune system attacking our joints, and something called nephritis. And that happens when the immune system actually attacks the kidneys and that can sometimes lead to a need for transplantation. Organ damage has also been observed in COVID-19 patients. COVID-19 is caused by infection by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which can enter the body through the nose or mouth and infect the cells that are lining your respiratory tract. Patients with COVID-19 can have symptoms like cough, fever, and fatigue. The majority of patients will have these mild to moderate symptoms and will go on to recover. However, if the immune response and inflammation persists, then these patients can develop more serious complications, namely pneumonia. Pneumonia happens when there's ongoing inflammation where it affects the tiny air sacs in the lung that are important for bringing oxygen in and releasing carbon dioxide out. Now, if the infection gets even more severe and persists for longer, patients can end up with a condition called acute respiratory distress syndrome, during which a person has such a hard time breathing that they need a machine like a ventilator to help them breathe. 
One would think that the inflammation that's seen in the lungs of COVID-19 patients is largely due to the virus that's infecting the cells lining the lung and the rest of the respiratory tract. But clinicians and scientists are realizing that there's something else that's happening in these COVID-19 patients. It's called immunopathology. Immunopathology occurs when the immune system correctly identifies and attacks the right pathogen, but the immune response unintentionally causes injury to the surrounding healthy tissues and organs. If we compare what's happening in COVID-19 to lupus, lupus is more of a case of mistaken identity. So in lupus, the immune system thinks that it's targeting the right thing, namely in this case, it thinks it's targeting a pathogen, but in reality, it's targeting a part of the person's body and that results in massive inflammation and damage to the body's organs. Now, if we think about what's happening in lupus and what's happening in these very severe cases of COVID-19, there might be a common link. The immune system is the culprit that's causing organ damage in both lupus and the severe cases of COVID-19. So let's take a look at some specific mechanisms that are similar between lupus and COVID-19. What can researchers and clinicians learn from lupus that may help us understand COVID-19? One syndrome that happens in COVID-19 is a cytokine storm. If you remember, cytokines are proteins that cells use to communicate with one another. And cytokine storm occurs during the course of an immune response where there is an excessive and overabundant amount of cytokines that are released by immune cells that eventually lead to hyperinflammation. All the immune cells from the different systems have very different powerful mechanisms that they use to eliminate pathogens. Now, if you recruit a ton of those cells that are activated and ready to fight whatever is in front of them, you can imagine that a cytokine storm can lead to a lot of damage. Cytokine storms have been identified previously in lupus and other autoimmune diseases, but interestingly, this cytokine storm scenario is being observed in COVID-19 patients. Another interesting observation is the presence of antibodies that damage blood vessels and contribute to the formation of blood clots. Now this has been observed in lupus patients, but now is also being observed in COVID-19 patients that have severe complications. Now a very interesting observation between COVID-19 and lupus is the fact that COVID-19 is now being considered a multi-organ disease. COVID-19 was originally characterized as a respiratory illness, but now both due to infection or damage by the virus, as well as damage from the immune response to the virus, patients with severe COVID-19 end up with damage to multiple organs, including the skin, the brain, the heart, and the kidney. So, now that we've learned about the interesting parallels between how the immune system responds in COVID-19 and how it responds in lupus, let's take a look again at those learning objectives to see if you can answer those questions. So the first question is, what word describes immunity against self? Autoimmunity, that's right. What word describes unintended damage to the body that occurs during the course of an immune response to a pathogen? Think about it. All right, it's immunopathology. 
How about this one? What is an example of an organ-specific autoimmune disease? Remember, this is a disease that attacks a single organ. All right, if you said psoriasis that targets the skin, you would be correct. You would also be correct if you said type 1 diabetes that targets the pancreas. How about this question? What organs and or tissues are commonly targeted in lupus patients? There are a ton, but some of them include skin, heart, kidney, joints, and the brain. Here's the last question for you. What characteristics make lupus and COVID-19 similar? Now, I'll give you some latitude with this one. You could say anything from they both have multi-organ involvement to they have antibodies that affect blood flow or the formation of blood clots. Or you could mention that a cytokine storm happens in both of them. Lastly, drugs designed to block hyperactive immune responses have been a mainstay and very important in the treatment of lupus and other autoimmune diseases. Do you think that the same strategy that works in treating lupus and other autoimmune diseases could work in COVID-19? Wait for the next video to find out the answer to that question.